folks, welcome to another Shop Talk and have made it out here to Gardner on a very rainy day. It is rainy. <laughs> Plus, uh, boy, the old Chiefs are down there drafting tonight, <laughs> but we're going to talk about racing here tonight. And I'm here with Matt Pugh, and we're going to talk a little bit about uh, Matt's racing career. And uh, Pat, or Pat, Matt and I, uh, we have some other connections from years past, uh, you know, the RC racing. We go back to the RC <laughs> racing, and uh, your dad, Bill, owned the uh, Shawnee Raceway, which was in Shawnee. And, uh, boy, I don't know about you, but a lot of fond memories from over there. Yeah, a lot of people at Lakeside that, you know, used to race up there, you know. It's amazing how that carries over. A little bit of RC car racing carrying over to real racing, you know. Yeah, and uh, just to mention, uh, one of the guys has come back and started running with us again, uh, uh, Jake Richards and his yeah. boy Hayden have been racing with us here uh, recently, and I think Jake's starting to get back in the groove. Won about four features. Yeah. But, uh, boy, it was fun running over there. Uh, Matt, was that a pretty good proving ground for you as far as kind of getting uh, the hang of racing and what it's all well, about? Well, you know, it helps with the setup. You know, you can kind of carry it over to set up a little bit because, you know, how you adjust your car is how it runs out there on the RC car track, you know, so mm -hmm. it's always... That helps out, you know, and then also just being in the racing spirit, you know, yeah. just people that like to race, you know. Yeah. I, I think the competition, I think, is one of the things to me yeah. that it, especially as a young man, how old were you back then? Gosh, I'd say probably 12 to 16. We, yeah. we raced pretty hardcore, you know, all over yeah. the United States, yeah. really. Texas, Oklahoma, Georgia, everywhere, you know. It, it was, it, all of, I never made it that far. I, I think I've been around here a little bit kind of Hutchison some places like that but never yeah. got that far out man that's that's a good deal to get out experience competition out there because man there's a bunch of it out there yeah you never think you will actually be driving a real race car you know when you're actually doing it you yeah. know that's <laughs> so what I was thinking I was thinking on the way out here who would have ever thought <laughs> that we would be in this position you sitting here as a driver and me as a interviewer let's yeah. say uh, yeah. from those days back then yeah and a lot of people you know Bunny Whistler and Will Whistler, mm -hmm. Alan Lawrence, Jake Richards, a lot of them all race there, you know. Mm -hmm. Now they all race at Lakeside, you know. Yeah. Bubba Harvey, Kenny tracks. King. Yeah. yeah, a lot of them. It, it was fun. Had a great time. Uh, your dad and Chris Ricketts, who used to do some drag racing together, um, I guess kind of talked to you guys into coming out to Lakeside, and more or less that's where you really got the big car fever, we'll call it. Yeah, you know, when we started coming out to Lakeside, we saw all those people from the raceway that we remembered, you know, and it mm -hmm. seemed like, you know, we were right back to already knowing a lot of people and right back into the to the, uh, to the thick of it, you know. Yeah. And we just decided that we could build one and give it a go. Yeah. And that's it, what we've been doing. <laughs> it, it is funny how at the racetrack, though, uh, uh, the social part of it does yeah. play a big part in it in that the guys, like you say, you get to know people and develop friendships, and it kind of goes from there. Exactly, you know. You've got to keep at it, keep hammering away. That's what we've been doing. <laughs> Boy, that's the truth. You finally do make it out on the track in 2007, and I think we decided like two-thirds of a season is what you ended yeah, up running. Yeah, we started out with the Dirt Works in 2007. We ran about half a season, a little bit more than half a season at Lakeside, and so that's when we started. And that, do you do you recall anything from that first season? I know, <laughs> uh, or even the first time out on the track, that had to be a little bit. I don't know if it's intimidating is the right word, but you start in the top class, and then yeah. you're out there with these guys that can really buzz that track. So how was it that first time? Well, I'll tell you, it, we started off rough because in 2006 we took the car out there and we had Scott Crystal driving it around the track, you know, to see how it was set up to see if I could get in and drive it, and I did about. 25 laps and then the motor blew. Oh, boy. And it was a ball of flames. <laughs> this is the first time I'd been out on the track in a car, you know. So it was a rough start. <laughs> that That is a very rough beginning. <laughs> uh, that sure Fire, something. smoke. Yeah, you'll never forget. <laughs> no. And, and uh, like your dad was telling me, you'd never actually practice getting out of the car in a hurry either. Yeah. So. so everybody come running out there, you know, it was just an oil fire that blew out on the headers, you know. It went out once I stopped, but it was a good little ball of flames. <laughs> <laughs> okay, from 2007 then to 2009, uh, to say that you guys have struggled a little bit is probably putting it pretty mildly. You, you've really been thrashing at it and fighting yeah. at it. <laughs> and the little uh, achievements, you know, that yeah. keep you going. <laughs> the little ones. <laughs> uh, what is it that is the hardest part to learn about racing? To me, it seems like it's one of the 
it has to be the learning the driving part. Another has to be learning how to set up the car, and then of course the financial part of it. But what what has been the toughest for uh, Pew Racing? Well, I mean, just the experience alone. You know, that's a a lot of times. You know, you just got to get the experience. You got to get the seat time, and that's what we've been trying to do. And then on our setup, you know, it seems like we'll get the setup on, and the next week comes, and the track conditions are totally different. A lot of people don't understand how much the tracks change. You know, one week is dry slick. The next week is muddy and ruddy. Sometimes they start off muddy and then it turns into dry slick. Sometimes they just slick over right away. It all depends on the time of the year. And being able to nail that setup, it's really hard. Yeah. And, you know, a lot of those guys that have that 20 years of racing, you know, they know what to do. They're right on. Bam. Yeah. For us, it seems like we'll go out and in practice, the car will feel great. Then you go out and you're like thinking that we're right on target. And then from the time you get to practice to the heat race, you know that things the tracks completely changed then you get out there and it's a little tight so i mean we got we got to work on setup and then you know i got to work on driving getting up on that wheel you know uh -huh. getting a little bit more aggressive stop worrying about you know making mistakes and just just do my thing you know <laughs> go out there and push it yeah that's what we were planning on doing this year but we got off to a rough start you know we did two laps and blew the motor on the first night so it's a little rough but you know we're down but not out you know so. <laughs> <laughs> but that's a big part of it, I think. Uh, you know, one thing that I just have to remember when I talk to people or, or people have had experience is kind of what Pew's Racing has been going through the last few years is is that, and I didn't know this till I interviewed him, but Gene Claxon didn't win his first feature, I think it was, for eight years. Yeah. <laughs> and it to me it almost seems unbelievable to, yeah. you know to hear especially this. the way he drives you know and now he's over <laughs> over 300 feature wins so pew you got it it's coming man just hang in there it's all i can tell you yeah we've been trying some smaller tracks too so you know yeah. we'll see what happens lakeside's a hard place to race at man who are some of the people though you, you know, i think you mentioned scott crystal kind of got you guys well, got scott crystal has been a huge help you know bunny whistler you can't say enough about that guy he'll help anybody uh -huh. you know my uncle ronnie he's down there you know, we got, you know, my mom and dad, of course, they're helping, you know, mm -hmm. so it seems like there's a lot of support. You know, you always got a lot of people telling it you can do it, you know, yeah. so you just got to keep, keep pounding away, you know. Hang in there and stay with it. <laughs> That's all you can do. We're hoping for a good year this year, but yeah. we'll see. We'll yeah. be out for a, we'll probably miss a race yeah. with the motor being down, but we got plan B going into effect, so yeah. we'll be right back. All right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> what for you so far, and uh, this will be like your third year, I guess, as it started in 2007, what really has been one of your high points, though, in the in that career? Um, You know, I mean, a lot of it's just the camaraderie of racing and feeling yourself get better, you know. Mm -hmm. Even though sometimes it doesn't look like it, you know, you can really feel yourself improving, you know, and getting better. You know, we've had... Just making the A main at Lakeside is an achievement, you know, when you got 35, 40 cars, you know, 15 of them don't make it, you know, so just A mains for us is a big deal. And I think we had a, a 12th last year, I think was our highest finish, and that was good for us. You know, it's just those little bitty achievements, Steps. you know. Yeah. I mean, a 12th place was like you, you would have thought we won, you know, I was <laughs> as happy as we were with it. <laughs> I was going to say, you got to take it as it comes and roll it with it. Exactly. If if that's pretty much kind of what the high point is, what's what's been the low point? I know, like right now, like you say, you guys are going through another motor rebuild. Yeah. And well, you know, we had a motor. It lasted for three years, and we pounded it to death and never had any problems. And we built a brand-new motor, and it did two laps, and it just didn't like those parts we put inside of it and threw them <laughs> out the side of the block. <laughs> and, you, you know, yeah. things like that. You know, I, uh, in Heartland Park, I spun out in front of the whole field. Mm -hmm. That was a long ride home from Heartland, you oh, know. Oh <laughs> yeah, yeah, I bet. So you know, there's there's low points, but you know, you got the high points, the low points. It's it's just racing. <laughs> yeah, we're getting down here to the end of this, and who is it that helps keep Matt on the track every week? I know a lot of family behind you, but yeah, you who, know, who all is it? Well, my mom, my dad, you know, they are like the number one supporters, you know. Then we got you know Burlington Auto, they help out. And Phillips Lawn Care, and the big ones, ARC, ARC, ARC Auto. Mm -hmm. So, you know, they're the ones that keep us going and keep us pounding away. Okay. They're the ones that's going to build a new motor. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you folks know out there, as you can see, got a lot of body space available. <laughs> so, if you want to sponsor somebody that's uh, struggling and wanting to uh, get in there, why uh, 
Matt be more than glad to help you out. Folks, that's going to do it for Shop Talk.